Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is episode 2 of Road to Recovery. As you can see, we started off by buying some more packs with the leftover Microsoft points, just the gold jumbos. Didn't really get anyone any special, I don't think. Some pretty pacey Portuguese player that didn't sell for too much, some coins, and just the consumables, which help out quite a lot of this stage. I'm not going to be keeping the kits or badges this time, because that basically filled up my um, club last time, which was kind of annoying. Uh, let's see what we get in the second pack. I don't think get anyone good. I can't really remember. Affili, not too bad, but it doesn't actually sell for a lot, so that's not great. We're looking for the informs or newly transfer players. They seem to sell for quite a lot at this stage. It's all about the contracts and stuff at the moment. Just trying to build up that squad. Just see what else we get in this pack here. <sighs> Did not see it. It's bigger. We got Sissoko, I think that is. Some goalkeeper. I didn't look like I'd even put him on the trade piles. He can't, can't sell for too much. But I think this is probably the last pack. Can't be too sure though. It's probably not. I don't really do many non-live pack openings. This is weird for me watching this pack. We get quite a few players. This one, Mandanda. A Lunds and a Irizols or something. Goalkeeper, not too bad. I think I actually d I sold him in the end. I think I discarded him. But it looks like we're going for another pack here. There we go. <laughs> Took a while to decide. Went for the normal pack. Gold pack with the one shiny. Probably didn't even get a player. No, my luck. No, we got a contract. But what can you do? So that's the end of that. And we decided to go into a game against this guy who's got a terrible chemistry. I'm not too sure I keep coming up against these people. But we're going to play them. Just trying to pick up some early wins while we can. He's got quite a decent couple of decent players but no real chemistry going on there he's got an ammo I think it is or something he plays for Liverpool quite a nice player but as you can see we're just beasting it down the wing at pace because we have lots of pace in our team do a little cut inside and it's a tidy finish there from oh I can't even remember his name however that's the one quite a decent right winger but I just want to say now guys I do end up moving on to a goal team pretty soon so we're not going to get many games with these just yet but I might come back to them it's quite a nice goal here do a little roulette inside, cut inside, and then Howarth gets his second. Pretty similar goal to the first, a bit more skill in that one. So yeah, we move on to a goal Brazilian team in a second. I'm not sure if it's this episode or the next one, but as you can see there, he rage quits like a bitch. So we end up winning that game 2 now, which is kind of annoying when they rage quit because you get limited coins. And of course, at this stage of the game, we want to be getting as many coins as possible. But what can you do if they don't want to play? They don't want to play. He wanted to get out of there because he knew he was getting raped. But yeah, so that's that. We move on to a next game here against some guy who has got a 98 chemistry. So yeah, beware in this game. He's got quite a nice team. I do believe it's an old French team. Yes, it is. He's got some quite nice players. I don't really know any of them. But they're all quite decent, I know, because... This is a very, very tough game, and unfortunately, something bad happens. As you can see here, he gets a free kick in quite a nice position. I don't do the sweaty thing and put a guy in a line, which I probably should have, in all honesty, because he ends up scoring it, which is quite annoying. But the bronze goalkeeper, oh, actually, I have, a, I have a silver goalkeeper, but he doesn't seem to want to save that one. But what can you do? Quite a nice finish from him, fair play. He gets another ball over the top. My defender sticks that leg out and apparently can't get anywhere near it like an absolute dick. So he ends up popping in for 2-0. So at a stage we're thinking, shit. And it was right to think that because this game, it turns out, quite bad. But he gets in another attack here. My defender goes to shambles and he just curls in. Beautiful goal from outside the box. That's now 3-0 him. So this is absolutely terrible on my behalf. But sometimes you just can't. This is probably why I moved on to the goal team. We got pissed off at this game. So I do believe that's half time. 3 0 down. So we're, we're having a, probably a rage right now. I'm probably throwing a controller around the room. But who knows? I don't rage too much at FIFA anymore. It's just gone past that. But we do get him behind with Heskey. And of course, he'll curl that one in beautifully because he's a beast. And that's quite a nice finish for him outside the box. Or just inside the box. Can't quite remember. That's still a tidy finish into the top corner from him. So that's now 3 1. But short-lived because he runs up the other end passes it across quite tidy and he sneaks one in the goal there my keeper probably should have got that but what can you do so that's now 4-1 so we're getting we're getting heavily beaten quite badly here and then he goes from a corner and apparently the keeper can't save that either so that's actually now 5-1 so we're having a horrible time but yeah I do think I make it more respectable I think I do go score a couple more goals you can see Heskey Playing a beautiful ball into Demon Tagnac. 
And he takes it around the goalkeeper and finishes off quite neatly there to make it 5-2. So that's a little bit more respectable. But still, we are, we will lose this game, not going to lie. We have lost this game, but what can you do? Heskey running all the way through, plays it into Dimon Tagnac, who decides to... I can't actually remember. He scores, of course. Cuts back inside onto his right foot and finishes it quite nicely. So that's now 5-3, but unfortunately that's the 90th minute. We're probably going to go come back here winning 6-5 if we had more time, of course, but we ran out of time. I think that's actually probably the last kick of the game. He has a little shot from kickoff, and yeah, that is actually the end of the game. So we did lose that on 5-3, so it's the first loss of the series. I did go for a whole road to glory on my last one before it got corrupted. I went 53-0 and or something like that, but we're not going to go with that on this one because I've already lost. But yeah, that actually made me go in and buy more packs because I'm... When I'm annoyed, I buy packs, so that's how I weigh all my money. But who did we get in this pack? Let's have a look. We got a D'Alessandro, nothing special. As an inform of him is quite good. But yeah, we ain't getting too lucky in the packs at the moment, apart from that Heskey pack, which is quite lucky, I suppose, because he does sell for 30k, which a lot of you have told me to sell him now, but I'm keeping hold of him just for the minute. We did get a transfer to Kamini in this pack, but unfortunately he doesn't really sell for much. That Brazilian there, I do believe, sell for 1.1k, which isn't too bad for a silver Brazilian, but sometimes they can sell for a lot more than that, so we probably didn't get the best one out of all of them. We could have got like a Micron Lita or something like that, but apparently we get a left back who ain't worth shit. What did we get in this pack? Anything good? Doesn't look like it. Haven't actually had an inform yet. But yeah. Nothing special in them packs. Let's have a look if we get in this one. I can't really see. It's going way too fast for me, guys. I don't really know if you can see. Oh, we do get an upgraded Benzema. That's right. We do get lucky in this packet. Packet? Shit. Pack, I mean. I don't even know why I said that. But I do believe that Benzema sold for. I think it was 50. It was over 50k. Can't remember how much it was. But that's pretty good. So that gets us some coins. We come up against this guy who's got a... Well, he's got a shit team, in all honesty. I think that's a Jamie Curiton up front. Quite a nice player back in the day. But we fully expect to trample this guy. Because on the back of a loss, I wasn't playing amazing. But that is a horror tackle. What the hell was that guy thinking? That is an instant red card, of course. My guy might have, might have broke his leg. But to my surprise, we actually went one goal down because my keeper is poor and he doesn't even want to save that one, which is just going to the bottom corner. Oh, this is bad times. Going for a bad patch, unfortunately, guys. But I do turn this one around, of course. I think. I hope. Heskey on the ball, as you do. Gives it to Ross Jenkins. Finds Howarth. Howarth. Great save there. But we give it to Noble. A noble shoot, a noble scores. Goal, goal, goal. Of course, a beautiful goal from Noble. Quite a nice little player. He's got a good long shot on him, so always worth a shot from there. And that is a goal. So that's now 1-1, one, one, I hope. It is 1-1, one, one, of course. And then we go into half time at 1-1. One, one, so we're not actually doing too well, considering he's had the guy sent off and he had a poor team. Only 1-1 one, one at half time. It was a bit of a letdown. But as you can see, we start the second half off. And Heskey's in behind. And I take this slowly because I really wanted to score that. And knowing Heskey, he could probably just shoot wide at any moment. But he ends up curling that one into the top corner, which is good for us. So that's now 2-1. I don't know what the hell that guy was thinking sliding there letting me in. What an absolute noob. But yeah, that's good for me. And uh, we get straight in on the attack here. For some reason, I like pulling out random roulettes. I'm not going to lie. But we're getting behind with Heskey. Again slides down. Heskey has a crack from distance. Well saved onto the bar. And Heskey from the rebound makes it 3-1. So we're going away with the goals now. Heskey is whacking him. There's a bit of lag in this game. But you just have to overcome lag. You both have the same. So you can't really complain too much about lag. Unless it is of course your internet lag. And again he slides in early. Heskey. Come. I wanted to take on his left foot. But I thought shit. That could end up pretty bad. So cut in onto his right foot. And he scored a nice little finish there. Which made it... I think that's 4-1. That is 4-1. He then presses pause. I thought he was going to rage quit. But he, to be fair to him, he did not rage quit. He carried on the game. And we then crossed in a ball. And got a sweaty goal. But yeah, I just wanted to get as many goals as I can. Just purely to get the coins. So you can take that as, it, as you want. But... 
That's me, guys. And that's just the end of this episode, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. As you can see, we did end up winning that game. I do believe that's 5 1. Nice little result there. Get some nice coins. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with some more of these soon. So, thank you very much. And bye.